This video shows you how to make a simple scrapbook layout. You'll need two sheets of cardstock, one in a lighter color, one in a darker color. You'll need a few additional scraps of cardstock in a white or a cream for journaling. You'll need one sheet of scrapbook paper, some alphabet stickers, and some miscellaneous items for embellishments. This is more or less what the completed scrapbook layout is going to look like, although we'll add some trim later. I have decided for my embellishments I'm going to be using three buttons, which you can see up here, and I'm also going to be using some lace. Alright then, so what you would do, let's just take this apart. First of all, cut using your green one of one of your cardstocks, the lighter of the two cardstocks. Cut a rectangle that is about two thirds the size of your page. Now this is an eight and a half by eight and a half page, but you would do the same if it was twelve. So cut cut that, and it will be applied there. Now using one of your colored papers, cut enough to fill the rest of the page, approximately a third, and it's going to be there. Now for your picture, this layout is going to use one, either one large picture and a small journaling, or one large picture and a small picture, whichever you prefer. So using a light or a white colored cardstock, Cut a, a rectangle of cardstock that's just a little bit bigger than your paper, than your picture, excuse me. Then, using your dark colored cardstock, cut a rectangle that's just a little bit bigger than the white one. And then you're going to use your adhesive and you're going to glue this down, centering everything so your picture is double blocked. Then, using the cream-colored cardstock, cut a small square. It's going to go there. Using your dark cardstock, cut a slightly larger square because it's going to be blocked. Then, cut two rectangles, which are the same length as this small green square. They're the same length. Cut two of them, and then cut two of these pieces of, of your scrapbook paper and they're going to be centered like that. So that's the next step to do that cutting and then glue everything down or use whatever adhesives you're using and glue everything down. Be back in a minute. I have now glued the photograph. It's, it's double matted and that's glued down or using whatever tapes you're using. I've printed out from the computer a little bit of journaling. It says, being together is the best gift of all. And this is now double matted. And I have glued my paper onto these rectangular squares. So set that aside for the time being. Then using whatever kind of adhesive you're going to use, for your back. I'm going to use this um, glue stick. So use the back of your cardstock if there's a difference. Just go over everything very carefully. And glue it down. Do the same with the back of that strip of colored paper. Put that aside so we don't get glue all over it. Do the same here. And 
do that down. Now, if you're going to use lace, what I would suggest doing, I would suggest cutting your lace now, and you don't, no need to waste lace by stretching it all the way across, so I'm going to suggest that you cut a little piece of lace like that. Oops, okay. Decide where that's going to go. Cut a little piece of lace like that. And perhaps cut a little strip of lace to go along down at the bottom there as well. So if you plan on using lace, decide now how much you want and cut it leaving enough of a margin that it can go just a little bit underneath your squares. There, this layout is um, more or less assembled. I have attached this lace using double-sided sticky tape. What I'm going to do now is to attach these three buttons, and I'll also do that using double-sided sticky tape. And finally, I will put some stickers along the top here to spell out the word family. And, uh, oh, if your buttons have shanks at the back, you can cut that off very easily using wire cutters. Okay. So here is the completed layout. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put it inside one of the page protectors. This is going to be the title page in my little album. And here we are, the title page in the album. Easy to make and quite attractive. I do hope that um, this will inspire you to get busy scrapbooking and uh, I would love to hear about your successes.